G'day guys, welcome to my part one of my spring cleaning series. I was really hoping to get the kitchen done in two parts, but I had a bit of a disgusting discovery. So it's actually gonna take me three, I reckon. And I'm gonna to work top down. So here I am showing you the top of these light globes and how dusty and dirty they are. But that's not all we're gonna be doing today. We're not just gonna be dusting, we're going to be decluttering, organizing a cupboard. I'm going to be using some organization supplies from Kmart and Bunnings, as well as a really important health warning that I discovered throughout this episode. And also I do like to keep it real on my channels. So I think you're going to be disgusted like I was what I discovered when I was cleaning. So to do the light globes, what I'm doing is I'm just dusting first. And like I said, I like to go top down. So I'm starting with the highest point dry dusting and then spraying some Windex onto a microfiber cloth and giving it a really good clean. I've actually stopped doing my weekly cleaning routine. Um, I haven't restarted it since my mum died. So this is pretty bad. So this dust and grime is pretty bad. It's been there for over two months now. And I am gonna dust the globes, but I am gonna be super careful because I've actually broken one before with cleaning it. At our old house, when we were preparing it to sell, Dave and I were dusting these globes that were a bit of a centerpiece and they ended up breaking. And so we had to buy another one. And that happened like twice, but they got so dusty, we had to clean them. But I'm just being so gentle with these globes because I do not want to buy another one. I got a ache inside of me. It's a deep hole where I bleed. Oh, can I see you later? So I actually had a knock on the door here. And because we're in a rental, every 12 months we get service checks are with an electrician and a plumber regarding the gas heating and cooling the stove and unfortunately our gas heater has a split in it so it has been pumping around carbon monoxide so it is turned off at the moment this was four days ago we don't have any gas heating and it's cold but it's better than not waking up and that's what the guy said with the carbon monoxide being pumped around he asked us if we'd been having any headaches and that's one of the risks with it. So we haven't got it turned on. And I'm just telling you this guys, because if you've got a gas heater, I recommend getting it serviced, getting it checked and just make sure that it isn't broken or doesn't have any splits in it because ours did. We haven't been getting headaches. We haven't been feeling sick, but it's just scary. So I'm just telling everyone I know to get their gas heaters checked, get a service, make sure there's no splits in it. So the next thing I'm going to tackle is on our island bench and this is a cupboard underneath and as you can see it is jam packed full of plastic containers pretty much. So first things first I'm going to take everything out and put it all over the bench and while I'm doing this I'm asking myself do we still need this? Will we still buy it now? Are these containers deteriorating? And how can I store these items a bit better? As you can see I have been using a lot of those plastic containers that the fruit comes in you know like the apples and pears but it's just not working anymore so I'm gonna to have to think of something different so first off I take everything out and then I'm gonna give it a clean down just a spray and wipe with some eucalyptus and water mixed together I like to use eucalyptus when I'm doing a lot of cleaning because it is just so fresh I don't know for me I associate eucalyptus with cleaning and cleaned you and me yeah that's all I need And then, like I said, I've laid it all over the bench. So have a close look at what I've got there. Isn't it amazing what you can just stuff into a cupboard? So the storage containers I'm going to be using is this one from Bunnings, which is two drawers. And then this one big drawer from Kmart. I honestly grabbed this from Kmart a while ago and I haven't found a use for it. So I'm excited to try and put these aprons in there. We've got a few aprons. 
I feel like this blue tub just gets loaded with stuff. Whereas if I can put them in drawers, then I can just maximize the space more and it looks better. So what I'm doing is I'm just folding up these napkins as tight as I can. Um, we use them at Christmas. That's probably the main time we use it, but that's fine. I'm happy to store that. And then these little napkin holders I got when I volunteered in Tanzania. So they're special to me. Um, and I don't mind that it doesn't look Christmassy. I just put them in there at Christmas time. Then I've got some extra placemats that I'm just putting in this drawer as well. And then I've been keeping those cloths that are like really absorbent, but I haven't used them. I haven't used them since I set that up. So I'm just gonna see if Dave wants to use those anywhere. It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. I'm gonna have a draw just for coasters at this stage. Some of them are done. There's one of my first ever DIYs. I did coasters on this channel. When I first started this channel, I was a DIY channel. Anyway, they've stuck together and they're done. I'm also not gonna be worrying about Dave's Crows coasters. I'm just gonna put them in there. We've got plenty of space and I just wanna keep going with this task. And then I'm using my trusty label maker to label these drawers. Whenever I talk about this label maker, I do mention that so many people have absolutely gorgeous um, fonts and they've used their Cricut to cut it. I have an old Cricut from like seven years ago. I just find this label maker is just so quick and efficient. actually have a cupboard in the laundry where I store a lot of my storage containers because I just reuse them for other projects unless they're broken and then I will dispose of them but otherwise as you can see like I'm using that blue basket for all the ice cube trays that I've got I do a lot of activities with the kids sensory play activities so that's why I've got a ton of those and then this little container I got years ago from Kmart for like $2 and I'm just putting in the little plastic containers. But I have a rule with myself that anything that goes back must have its lid. Guys, if you know what this is for, I would love to know. It came with the air fryer and I've just been storing it thinking, surely I'll work out what it's for, but I haven't yet. So if you guys know, please let me know. All the stuff that I'm not sure about, I'm putting in a box and I'm just leaving it until I've completely finished the kitchen because, you know, plastic container lids get put in other drawers and cupboards. So I'm waiting until I've done the whole kitchen before I start disposing of those unwanted items. And I'm taking out my breast milk pump. I haven't used that. I stopped breastfeeding, so I don't need this anymore. And Dave and I are not having any more kids. So I'm just going to work out what I do with that. And then here's another DIY. So these coasters are going too. Alrighty, so let's clean the dishwasher. So first off, I'm gonna remove both their drawers and then I'm gonna have a look at the spinners and just see if there's any pasta hanging out of them because that's what used to happen in our old house. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is clean this. And I do do that often because it does just get stuff down there. So I'm just giving it a really good clean in some warm soapy water. And then I'm gonna use that water to clean the sliders and just the seals as well. No wizard of Oz. Do what I've done completely out of luck this time. I'm stuck in reverse. I gotta get away now, but I can't seem to take the lead. Oh, baby, how could I know there was no second chance? 
And then I really want to make sure that there's nothing blocking the water sprayers. So I'm going to be using a skewer to just get in there and make sure they're all clear. And this is just a close up. Both sides had this just muck here. It comes off really easily, but I just wanted to show you what I'm dealing with here. As I was closing the door to give it a clean, I noticed here where it kind of hinges that it was just filthy. So <laughs> just disgusting. So then I started giving it a dust, but realized that I could just pull this off. So what I did is I pulled it off and crikey guys, look at this. This is disgusting. Now I've never removed this since I've been here. So we've been here over a year and I have never removed this. And look at that, it is just disgusting. But I don't think we're the only ones who haven't cleaned under here because there is a bright neon baby link and we have not had one of those. So who knows if this has ever been cleaned under here and it is just disgusting. So guys, let me know, am I alone in this? Have you ever removed that from your dishwasher? Once again, my skewer's coming in handy. You say you're fine. But I can see right through you're holding your secrets for way too long. This can't keep going on with every lie. They keep on hurting you, getting away with everything they do. This can't keep going on. Oh, we're gonna find them, and I'm gonna fight for you. They better start hiding. We'll be running with the lions. Well, there's part one done. I did think I was going to get this whole row done, but I'll have to wait until part two. See you then. Happy spring cleaning. Bye.